Hi there, this is a brief tutorial to show you how to use the tabbed templates that are available to you within the Faculty Center Design Templates and Best Practices course. First, select the Modules tab on the left-hand side of the navigation menu. Next, you'll notice in the Design Tips, Color Consistency, and Eye Candy module, there is a page called Consolidate using a tabbed page. It's just below the mobile friendly. Click on that tabbed page and you'll see a page that gives you an overview of what tabbed pages are and basically what they look like. There's a sample below that shows you when you click on those links that they go to another section. It's really just one page but it puts everything all on a nice, neat little spot as a quick link. So you can easily navigate through what would normally be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pages all into one page. Another reason you might want to create this tabbed page is that it's mobile friendly. It's mobile friendly and completely accessible. A screen reader can easily skip through the pages based on your heading tags and the way the page is programmed. So to create a tabbed page, I have a link here called Tabbed Pages Made Easy. This was created specifically for Canvas tabbed pages. First, you want to put in what your tab names are going to be. And this would be from the five pages that you've chosen to put into a tab. I'm going to use an orientation as my example for today. I'm going to click back to my Canvas class and I'm going to find the pages that I'm looking for. In this case, I'm going to use an orientation that it has multiple pages and I want to consolidate them. I'm going to click on the welcome page. So that's going to be my first tab, my welcome page. So I'm going to select, I'm going to go back to my tabbed page generator on my tabs at the top of the browser, and I'm going to type the word welcome for the tab name. The next one I might do about your instructor. Don't worry if you can't fit the whole name on there. You can add that after the fact. For this sample, I'm only going to do two tabs. You don't have to do all five tabs. You could do one or two or three. Now that I've named my tabs, I'm ready to paste in the HTML from the original page in my Canvas course. I'm going to select my Canvas course and the page, the welcome page that I had. I'm going to select Edit. And then I'm going to select the HTML editor. Once I go there, I'm going to copy all of the HTML that's shown on the page here. Command A or Control A, and then to copy it, Control C on a PC or Command C on a Mac. Then I'm going to go back to my Canvas tab generator at the top. And I'm going to go to the Welcome tab that I've created, and I'm going to paste in Command-V or Control-V all of the HTML that was on that page, and it should look something like this. I'm going to then go to the next page that I want to copy the HTML in. I'm going to go back to my Canvas class, and I'm going to go back to the Pages so that I can select the page that I'm looking for. And I'm going to go to the About Your Instructor page. I'm going to click Edit, HTML Editor, and I'm going to highlight all of the code, copy it, go back to my tab generator, and paste it in, and so forth. Once I have completed that, I click the word Generate down here. And you notice that down below, I have now a code. I'm going to highlight all of that, Command-A or Control-A, 
and then Command C or Control C. I'm going to go back to the Canvas class that I want to make the consolidated tabbed page on. I'm going to go to the plus sign. I'm going to click on the drop down menu and click page, new page. I'm going to name the page and I'm going to add it. Then I'm going to click on the name of the page, edit. And once again, I'm going to select the HTML editor. Once I click save and publish, you'll see the tabs. Now you can edit the page through the, H, the regular text editor. If I want to add to the name of this, I just go to the end of that line and add the R. If I want to change the name, I can change it here. Be cautious changing things on this page because sometimes you'll grab the tab code and lose your tabs. You can watch the other video on how to make that happen if you like to.